back everybody. Today we're going to try Thoughtful Jester from Arvon Brewing Company. Sour Ale with Tangerine, Cara Cara Orange, Blood Orange, Lactose, and Vanilla. To me, lactose and vanilla, this sounds more like a milkshake IPA than a sour. Uh, Cara Cara Orange, I didn't know what that was. <clears throat> uh, from on here, it says Red Flesh Navel Orange is early to mid-season navel orange, believed to have developed uh, as a spontaneous bud uh, Washington navel orange tree. So it, it looks like it's a little darker like the fruit is, but that's what it is if you wanted to know. Yeah, on here it's saying fruited uh, sour, 6.2% ABV, uh, $5.29. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street. Um, this says 5%. That says 6.2. Hmm. So I don't know if they made different versions of this. I don't really, yeah, it has the same style guidelines. Yeah, this can says 5, untapped says uh, 6.2. Yeah, same thing that's usually on the can. I do not see a date on here. But let's go ahead and crack it open, get it into a glass, and see what we think. Color looks orange, like it should be. There we go, we'll stop there, we'll smell, we'll taste, then I'll pour the rust in there. Off-white, kind of orangish colored head. Uh, bubbles are dissipating pretty quickly with a sour, fruited sour. I would think they would it would dissipate all the way. Right now, about a quarter finger of head. From the color, yeah, very nice orange juice in color. Uh, let's see if it'll focus on it. Um, you guys are seeing pretty much what I'm seeing. I am seeing a little bit darker uh, than what you're seeing, but yeah, nice, very hazy orange color with something with oranges. This is the color I would be looking for. Let's go ahead and smell. I get that orange juice, uh, very like freshly squeezed orange juice smell, maybe a touch of vanilla coming through. I was almost thinking creamsicle with the lactose, the vanilla, and the orange. I'm not getting that much sweetness. It seems like that that citrus orange is cutting through the, the, uh, the sweetness of it. Yeah, I would say freshly squeezed oranges with a hint of sour and vanilla. Let's go ahead and taste. You definitely get that tartness, that sourness up front. Uh, the milkshake IPA kind of comes in with that vanilla, that lactose, but then that orange, it kind of mixes as an orange cream. Like my mouth is salivating. Um, as it goes back into the palate, that that sweet lactose vanilla kind of fades out and the, the freshly squeezed orange comes in, but it still keeps that sourness with a little bit of tartness. In the aftertaste, it's a vanilla orange, more orange than anything. Um, but you do get that vanilla in there, almost like uh, orange creamsicle. Pour the rest in here. Yeah, didn't do anything for the smell. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like you get that milkshake IPA vibe up front without the hoppiness, just that a little sweeter lactose vanilla, but there's some tartness, sourness mixed in. Then you start getting that citrus from that orange, fresh squeezed orange juice um, as it goes back. Yeah, that, that sweetness uh, kind of like, like this, the sweetness fades away but there's still some vanilla in there but that 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 
orange really kicks in. So yeah, for this one, I have a whole bunch of like little black things in here. So I don't know what those are, but I'm still gonna drink it. Uh, but yeah, overall, I on this, for what it is being a fruited sour and something I would drink, I would go 4.75 out of five. Uh, the only thing I would like to see is a little bit more vanilla coming out of this. Um, you're not tasting the 5% alcohol. If they do have a 6.2, I would like to taste that. But yeah, for what this is, uh, 4.75 out of 5. Let's check on tap real quick. Four of my friends have checked it in. 4.5 out of 5. 263 people overall. 4.31. So I'm a little bit higher, but I like it. Um... Somebody said tangerine uh, creamsicle goodness, tons of citrus and vanilla. Amazing. Like orange Julius Mo, Mo I can't even say it. Mo, Mo whatever. I'm not even going to try. Uh, Jeff had it. He gave it a 4.25. Um, yeah, tangerine and vanilla pop. I could kind of see that. But yeah, this is definitely one, if you can get it, if you're around Michigan and you can get this, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.